Hi everyone, I'm Carla with Heat Press Nation and I'll be showing you how to properly create a t-shirt transfer that's large enough to still be legible. So stick around as we'll customize this. Now, if you enjoyed this video or find it to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But to catch the latest tutorials and live episodes from Heat Press Nation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered how certain shirts manage to present themselves with a graphic that's large enough to still appear cleanly? For medium-sized t-shirts, you may have heard of eight inches being a good maximum width for heat transfers. While that size is ideal for most transfers, it might be rather small for those with finer details like text and additional shapes. If you want to apply an oversized transfer to accommodate such detail, you'll definitely want to know how to do so properly in making a quality shirt. Before we dive into the process, however, let's consider what's the best material to use for creating a large t-shirt transfer. While you can technically use any fabric compatible heat transfers for this process, we found that heat transfer vinyl is the best material to cut for large heat transfers. To slide with its consistent and solid nature when applied on fabrics, heat transfer vinyl is one of the more affordable and accessible materials. All you'll need is a long enough sheet or roll of HTV in addition to a cutter that's at least 12 inches wide, which will still be able to cut wider designs in portrait orientation. If you're customizing a white or light colored shirt, other good choices are light transfer papers like Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch for inkjet printers or Forever Flex Soft for laser printers. Though for polyester shirts, it's best to stick to sublimation papers printed through sublimation printers like the Sawgrass SG-1000. While the soft build of heat transfer papers are well suited for cotton apparel, applying sublimation transfers on polyester tees always results in the most vivid colors on white tees in addition to being permanently applied without an extra depth from the transfer itself. Of course, depending on the material to use should ultimately depend on the type of design you're applying onto a shirt. Lastly, if you're creating a large transfer with any solid material, keep in mind that the more coverage your transfer has, the more heavy and uncomfortable it can feel when applied on a shirt. With all this in mind, let's get right into how to make a large t-shirt transfer. A key step to taking before preparing your shirt's design is to measure your desired transfer area at the center of the shirt's front or back side. For more definitive measurements, you can slide your shirt into a mannequin or have another or yourself wear it as you note them with tape measure. While measuring your shirt, you'll want to make sure not to go edge to edge and width, as attempting to create a transfer like so will result in hidden details when worn. As soon as you lock in the width and height of your heat transfer, you can start creating or preparing your design based on these measurements. Feel free to note these measurements for future reference, especially customizing a batch of the same or similarly sized shirts. With your design finished, it's now ready to be cut or printed as a transfer. As we're demonstrating this process with Caesar Easy Weed Stretch HTV, we'll first save and import it into our cutting software. If you use a vinyl systems cutter for your materials, you'll first need to configure your materials cut settings on the cutter itself. For heat transfer vinyl, we set our cutters with 80 to 125 gram force, 400 to 650 millimeter speed, and adjust the blade to where it's sticking at about one fifth of an inch or about a business card's thickness from the blade holder. If you're unfamiliar with how to use a vinyl systems cutter or a sign master, we recommend checking out our tutorial videos on them linked below. But with the cutter prepared, you may now load your material to it. Position your blade if necessary, then send the design to be cut. Once the cutter is complete, take your material out to weed and trim it. Then it's now ready to be applied to a t-shirt. With your heat press powered on, you'll want to set it to the proper press settings. For most of Caesar's EasyWeed HTV line, this will be 10 seconds at 305 degrees Fahrenheit with medium pressure. To be sure that you're applying your large transfer at the center of your shirt, we recommend using a graphic alignment tool like the T-Square It to precisely place your transfers. When applying HTV, you can also apply a small fold of the transfer's carrier sheet, which can then line up to the center of the T-shirt. Once your transfer is in position, cover it with a protective sheet and press. 
When the timer hits zero, open your machine and peel the transfer at the recommended warmth. For easy weed transfers, you may peel them either hot or cold, and they will now be permanently applied to your shirt. Now that you know how to create a large t-shirt transfer, your versatility as a business-owning creator only increases. Not only will larger transfers make weeding more intricate details easier compared to eight inch wide transfers, but you can now offer this as an option to your customization service. Some notable applications for large t-shirt transfers are sport jerseys, concert tees, and designer apparel, all of which are perfect opportunities to start expanding your business's options with. If you're interested in sharing your applied large t-shirt transfers with us alongside a growing community of heat transfer and customization enthusiasts, feel free to join our Heat Press Nation Creators Facebook group at heat.press fbgroup. But to learn more about heat transfers and other tools and supplies, be sure to visit us at heatpressnation.com. For any questions, be sure to get in touch with a My Expert representative at support.heatpressnation.com. I'm Carla with Heat Press Nation and have a wonderful day.